Hi everybody, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels um, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle uh, Today in the UK it's a cloudy uh, day so it's not uh, really um, that, uh, that good of a day but it's too humid, it's, it's warm um, hopefully we'll have some uh, sunshine later um, now, uh, now uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing Travel News Worldwide July 2021 Part 3 uh, because I've got to go into work today um, I start at 12 until 9 o'clock at night um, so, uh, so I'll do the footage video um, Wednesday, um, on Wednesday, so I've just had to change it about this week. So uh, let's uh, jump right into it. Um, MSC Bellissima to uh, sail at the Red Sea at cruises this summer. MSC Cruise has confirmed MSC Bellissima will uh, set sail on the uh, 21st or the 21st Red Sea voyages uh, from Jeddah, the commercial hub of Saudi Arabia between the end of July and the late uh, and late October. So that's really good news. Good um, news for M. Um, SC Bellissima, wow, <laughs> um, and that's a all the, all of this is according to breakingtravelnews.com. Number two, EasyJet launches new Belfast connection. EasyJet has launched flights from East Midlands Airport to Belfast International Airport in northern ireland for the first time the new route will provide uh, customers with even more connections this summer wow that's really good news um and east midlands airport is um my uh, local airport um at that um i'm used to flying from um when when I have flown from UK from diff to different countries, also I've, I have flown uh, from Heathrow um, and um, I have also flown uh, quite a few times from Birmingham in the past but um, East Midlands is uh, my um, and it's about 15-20 minutes um, up the road from Colville and um, it's still in northwest Leicestershire um, wow so that's amazing so uh, you can just hop on a plane now from uh, to get uh, from East Midlands to Belfast um, number three Abita welcomes changes to FCDO Advice Abita has welcomed the news that the Foreign Development and Commonwealth Office has removed its advice against all but essential travel to several popular holiday destinations. And um, number four, Emma. SC Cruises confirms plans for new Port Miami terminal. Wow, that sounds really exciting. I hope that goes as well as possible. Number five, Finnair to offer long haul routes from Sweden. Yes, that's really good at news um, to Sweden and other uh, long haul destinations and countries. And Finnair as well. And uh, number six, uh, Vietnam Airlines joins ITA Travel Pass Trials. And 
Um, number seven, British Airways sees increase in demand following quarantine loosening. So that's really good news for British Airways and obviously the travel industry. Um, number eight, um, H2 Hotel Budapest opens to first guests. So yes, I hope that goes as well as possible. For that hotel group number nine saxon hotel uh, launches a uh, new app as tourism returns so that's really good news and um, for the saxon hotel so and anybody that likes to use apps to book uh, to book hotels and last but not least uh, singapore airlines celebrates 50 years of london flight so wow that's amazing well done to obviously the london airports and um and singapore airlines and i hope all the best for the future um tomorrow i'm going to be um working again um 12 till 6 so i'll be doing um a video and it's far uh, going to be um five at most exciting um uk news um in regards to travel so i hope everybody's had a good weekend as possible unfortunately england lost um on penalties but we we did do well against a real a really tough team italy um it, and and it was only down to penalties at the end so i would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and see you tomorrow thank you bye